Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 5.0, and today is day 17. We are still working through smart plans, and so we're going to dive back into that applet, and I'm going to begin to show you today how to create a custom smart plan. And so in order to do that, we're going to come over to the Create button here on the top right-hand corner, and we're going to click on Create. Now, just a note, if you do want a guided tour of how to know more about the dashboard, add smart plans, add contacts to a smart plan, remove contacts from smart plans. These guided tours that KWRI has put in are pretty helpful. So just a heads up there. But today we're gonna create a custom smart plan. So we're gonna go in, we're gonna call this 66 day challenge test and click on apply. You would want to name your smart plan appropriately for whatever the plan was. And to start off, when we get into this smart plan creator, you'll see that there are two columns, essentially. The left-hand side here is going to be the consistency of your smart plan. What are the actual steps and delays included in that smart plan? On the right-hand side, you'll see the actions. And these are the actions that you can take inside of the smart plan. And then you'll see tips and rules down here on the bottom right. So, at the very, very top, you'll see how long your smart plan lasts, how many steps and how many touches are a part of that smart plan. And then finally, when you get over here on the far right, this is how you can add people directly from the smart plan once you've got it saved and then our saved button. So let's walk through each one of these actual actions quickly and then we'll talk about the tips and rules on tomorrow's challenge. So the first option that you have for actions is create a task. So you can come in and have that task do the day that it's actually created. So you could put today, or you can create a task that is actually due and a future date from that specific date that the task is fired. You can add a task name and a task description along with an actual hyperlink. And in both the name and description fields, you have what are called merge fields. So you can actually put in, so it might be something like call or uh, maybe write note and written note to, and then I can drop in the contact's first name and the contact's last name. And then I could put in the tax description, you know, uh, follow up on neighborhood nurture emails, something along those lines, right? Whatever you want the card to say, whatever the task might have been. So that's how you can put in a task. Next, you have the ability to add a call. Now, this is essentially just a task, but it's a task associated with an actual phone call. So again, you can change the due date. You can put in the task name and task description. The nice thing here is you can actually put in first name, last name, phone number, right? So it would be call and then contact, first name, last name, phone number. You can even write out the script. If you're a little nervous about making phone calls, your task description could be the full script that you're gonna use when you're making that call. Next, you've got email, and you can see that this email reply to is set up inside of my settings. So if you haven't done that, you'd wanna to go to the settings menu. You do have to put in a subject and then the actual content of the email. We do have email designs. We'll cover that in a future challenge, but if you've created an email design, you could click on designs and then select the actual design that you had created and use that instead of just the simple black and white text. You do have the ability to change your uh, bold italics underline. You can make a bulleted list. You can change the text size and color. You can left center or right. You can add in links and you can also use merge fields inside of the email. One quick thing to note is that inside of emails, there is no email signature. So you are going to want to type out your email signature in addition to the content of your email. Next, we've got SMS MMS. This is only if you have Twilio enabled, but inside of that text message, you can see that you can type in the message. You can use merge fields. You even have emojis that you can add. A couple things to be aware of with regards to Twilio. If you add an emoji, you're using a special character, which increases your uh, count, basically your contact. So essentially you have 160 characters for a traditional text to take up one credit. If you use emojis, you're dropping that count. 
again, you do have to have Twilio enabled for SMS. We're gonna talk about dynamic texting in a future video, but next you have delays. So I wanna put a delay in between the steps. I would recommend doing that. You don't wanna hit them with too much all at once. So a delay can be anywhere from one to 30 days. And this is how you're putting steps in between those specific actual steps that you're building out. Next, you've got add to smart plan. So you can actually build a smart plan that as a part of the smart plan adds people to another smart plan. So maybe this is my long-term follow-up. And the first thing I wanna do is add them to the neighborhood nurture. You can see I can just put in neighborhood and there's my monthly neighborhood nurture. So this step would add someone to the monthly neighborhood nurture. Finally, you've got restart smart plan. So if I do this, it's gonna go through all of these steps and then it's going to repeat. And I can choose to repeat that one through six times or I can do it unlimited. We'll talk about kind of the benefits and drawbacks of doing that when we talk about dynamic texting and we'll kind of get into a little bit of that later on this week. But that's it for today, guys. We're gonna do more tips and rules and uh, we'll continue kind of part one, part two, part three of creating a custom smart plan. But this is your basic actions, how they are used inside of a custom smart plan. That's it for today, guys. Hope you're having a fantastic day and look forward to speaking with you again real soon.